Hello, I'm Esther Perel, and today we have a question from Jamie in Florida. How do you get the confidence to go up to talk to someone in real life? And Jamie's question is a question that many people ask me. I'm shy, I don't really know what to say, I'm afraid to be rejected, I'm afraid to be dismissed, to be ignored. And the first thing I want to say to you, Jamie, is if you're shy, if it's difficult for you to go up to talk to someone, don't try to hide it necessarily. Don't try to deny it, to make it go away, to cover it up. Go to the person and actually say, you know, I am actually a shy person. It's not something that comes easily to me to talk to you. But I've been looking at you, or I was listening to you, or I've been reading you, or I've been listening to you. And I wanted to say something. I wanted to say that I'm attracted to you, that you have beautiful eyes, that I would like to go have coffee with you, or that I would like you to sign my book, whatever it is. But use it. Use it as part of who you are. For a lot of people, it actually is quite endearing to see somebody overcome a certain shyness or overcome a certain liability that you experience as a liability. And I know it also because I have an accent, as you probably hear, and it used to be much stronger. And for a long time, I would try to cover up my accent. I, try, I thought that it was constantly blocking me until I understood from one of my teachers, actually, who had also an accent, a Spanish accent he had, that it was something to use, that I could say, I don't really understand what you're saying, or that I could say it was a way for people to instantly ask me, where are you from? And that, in fact, I didn't have to say anything because they were asking me a question which I could then answer. So you also are a mystery to the others. It's not just they who are a mystery to you. And when you are shy, you keep thinking that you're the only person who has nothing to say. But in fact, other people, the same thing. And then go over to them with a certain question. If you're in a museum, you talk about the artwork around you. If you're in a club, you talk about the music. If you're in a cafe, you talk about the food and the coffee and the service. There is a context, and you can draw from that context because it is the thing you're sharing at the same time. If you're in the subway, you can talk about the day-to-day -day or about the train or about the traffic or about the weather. You know, I think there are more interesting things, actually, than the weather and sports, which are the two things that I think people talk about the most in elevators. Nobody speaks because everybody's in their phones and on, or they're in their headphones and they're speaking to somebody else. And I think we have lost the practice of small talk, if you want. And small talk was a way to create social social banter, social connection, awareness of the presence of others. Do not think that you're the only one who doesn't know how to approach people and everybody else seems to have it really easy and they can flow and they just always find the right thing to say. And it's not like that. It's not like that. I think that we are really losing, many of us, the ability to just simply connect with people in face to face, in, you know, embodied rather than the digital version that so many of us now are growing up with. So my suggestion to you, Jamie, is you use these places where, by the way, you can practice because you'll never see them again. You're in the elevator, you're at a coffee shop, you're in the supermarket, you're um, on the street, you're on the subway, any of these situations, you're in a club, you're in line somewhere, use these situations to practice, to talk with the person who is behind you in line, to ask a question about the show that you're going to see, and to think, I have a context, I'm meeting someone in this context, how do I connect the dots between me, the other people, and the situation or the context that we are in, the environment that we are in. And if you connect these dots, you will find that it is actually quite easy to start to talk with others. So I hope I've given you some ideas about how you approach someone, how you talk to them, how you just sometimes just smile to them. You don't have to say anything. You're just saying, I noticed you, and then you wait to see, are they smiling back? And then you've already begun speaking, or at least communicating, even if you haven't used words.